for me personally, I have to try and build a game. I think a lot of people um, put their onus on their coach to sort of structure their game and, and sort of say, okay, teach me jiu-jitsu. But really... It's the same, I think, in a lot of industries, like even with the, the NHS or even with fitness. It's like you, people expect their doctor that's going to see him for two minutes to give him some kind of pill that's going to sort out something. And really, you've got to take the charge of that yourself. And it's the same with PT, PT and physical training. I see sometimes people are looking for some kind of magic answer. You've, you've got to research that stuff yourself. So I'll build a game. And how it looks like and what it's structured like is I'll start off and say bottom bottom say i'm on the bottom my partner is kneeling so then i'd I'd have that as the middle um section of my sort of spider diagram and off that would be set guards so from the bottom and they're kneeling what guards can i get to can I get to butterfly guard i can get to half guard that's the main two from there i can get to close guard as well so that would splinter off from different diagrams and then from each one of them say from half guard example it should be a sweep or it should be a um, submission. If it's not a sweep or submission, it means you've got nothing from that aspect of the guard. So then let's just say it's a Kamora. A Kamora is a perfect example because it's a, a submission and the only way to escape is to roll out. So it's a, a submission and it's a sweep. So you either get the submission or you get the sweep. Let's just say that you get the sweep. Then you end up on top side. Then top side would be a separate diagram. Top side would have all my submissions that would come off it on that side. and when you build this game, it takes it takes a while for you to sort of write down. But then when I'm going to class and I get taught an X guard sweep, I look at my, okay, where can I fit X guard in? I know when I can fit X guard in is when I'm on the bottom and they're standing. I can't really fit X guard in when, when, they're sta- when they're on their knees and I'm on the bottom or if I'm standing. So if I was working on X guard, I got taught an X guard sweep. I had nothing on that diagram to put on my X guard sweep. Then I'd write that in. That's my X guard sweep there nailed. And then you want, you know, ideally each one of them would have a submission or a sweep, as I said before. And it takes a while to like build that game. But each game's in, individual. As you mm. said, like I'm short and stocky, so I play like a pressure game that's in tight. You're a bit taller, so you might play like a, a wider open guard, okay, with your legs around. And, you know, you might play a, a stockier pressure game just like myself. So that means you need to work on sort of pressure passing and whereas yeah. his would be different and yeah. then expecting your coach to be like well I've just taught this one lesson that's tailored for everyone it's not really going to work you've got to take that onus of yourself and then that's when also what I put on that monthly calendar of what am I working on this month would be a hole in that game so say if I had nothing from a half guard I'd be like I need to work on a sweep from a half guard I need to work on a Kamora from a, or whatever a submission yeah. from a half guard what you're saying there though is really good but from my point of view I, d- I don't even think I know all the different sweeps submissions blah 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 so like yeah. just even listening to you there i'm thinking in my head i'm thinking right to do that i actually need to go home and research and know what a lot of them are yes you know what i mean because definitely. like you know i know what x guard is but do i really know how to get into it properly do i know at what point to get into it and i know that's obviously comes from experience yeah. and mat time mm-hmm. but even speaking to a lot of people on the mats and stuff a lot of them they won't even know you know if you say like to a to someone like you know De La Hiva, they'll be like oh right. but it's it sounds like it's a, it's a working document right so yes. a working job so you'll start with one thing yeah and that spiders off by the sound of it yeah and then you learn something new like x guard and you're like mm, what the fuck is that and then what can i do from x guard yes. yeah and then you'll plonk that there that comes yeah. off at here yes. there's your branch yeah and then you got a few bits there and it, it just seems like yeah from what you said that you just start obviously with one component you build up as you go which is really interesting you become systematic with that if that makes sense so like say you then like if you get someone to hack on it triggers a series of things like in your head then you're like this is what i'm going to do if i can't sweep him then i'm going to go to the kimura if i kimura sweep him over you know and then do you automatically then like drill that into your brain to a point where it it's got to work. And if it doesn't work, then you move on to the next part that should work. Yeah, because what, what you'll find, as you said, it's difficult when you first start, but what you'll first start with is top and bottom. So you're, from, yeah. you're, you're what do I do when I'm on top? What do I do when I'm on bottom? That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's all it starts yeah, with. Yeah, and it's me, like, yeah. I'm on bottom, I get to close guard. Yeah. That's as simple. Do I know a sweep from close guard? No, I need to find out a sweep from close guard. And eventually what you'll, you'll find is, okay, they've based out from close guard, let's say for an example, um, and they've got a leg that's sticking out so you can get to X guard. So then you're like, okay, the sweep doesn't work. And what's happening when I get that sweep is I'm managing to find a way to X guard 
from that sweep and then your X guard would then be built around So did you that. used to make like little notes about this or like was it all like just yeah, just, just, just like at the end of the thing you'd be like oh you know I, I fucked up this from X guard I didn't yeah, know where to go from there It's difficult for when you first start you said you don't yeah, know all that stuff yeah. so it's really hard when you first start but of, like after a while like I knew okay I like to half guard from the bottom I knew on top I like to pressure pass so I, I knew just those two things so then I'd work on sort of something else and it would slowly sort of build up and it's you can get apps like it now where you just literally put it in an app and it's just on my phone and then I can go to a gym and visit somebody and they'll show me a technique and I'm like, oh, I wonder if I could put that in my side control game. I wonder if I could put that submission on my back game or... So yeah, it just takes a long time to build but I do think it's... Um, it just helps you see the holes as well because then when you're, it shouldn't, one of these gaps shouldn't shouldn't have a no ending on it. So it shouldn't be like, okay, I get to close guard, but I've got nothing from close guard. Because if it is nothing from close guard, then you need something from close guard, remembering that you want to be on top or whatever. Mm, yeah, makes so sense. So of, then it goes round again, doesn't it? It goes you, round again, yeah, yeah, it goes round again. Break, and then Break close guard, go into side control, exactly. and then you're back into that cycle. Yeah, of, yeah, of exactly. Where... And, and like mine will be different to yours or whatever. And also what you'll find then is, is like most of my stuff's from half guard. So I know... Like a lot of my stuff, I want to fit. I want to end that in half guard because I have like an A game, a B game, and a C game. I'm gonna get a bit complicated now, but no, do it. Yeah, <laughs> I fucking love it, mate. Yeah, cool. Um, depending on like the distance, you, your game should change. So if they're a bit further away, then that's when you need like a a, a wider, say, um, Delahiva or I know people. I do you reckon this is good to go into because no, people. No. Okay, they, they can Google it, mate. It's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah. You'll need a, a like a further away guard, should we call it? Um, and then as they get closer, you'll need something that's a bit closer. And then they get closer again, you'll need another closer guard. For an example, would be X guards. Uh, let's just go with the geese. So we do spider guard. They get closer. I can go to my half guard. They get closer again and get to my deep half. But from each one of them, I should have a, I should have a, a sweep or whatever. But what you what tends to happen and will happen is you'll favour one, you'll favour a half guard. So then you want some of your stuff to lead back to the half guard because you know that's maximum where you get most subs from that's where you spent most of the time that's your a game then you'll have like a b game and then you'll have like a c game so it's difficult to sort of um this is why i fucking love jiu-jitsu yeah, so it's just, much uh, it's too, expanded, it? It's it's it fucking keeps going yeah. doesn't it 